Hi friends, welcome back to your summary team. Today's topic is about uh, uh, best phosphonates. Um, briefly, I will discuss about the best phosphonates. Uh, these are very important drugs, and uh, regarding the other individual drugs in this, I will uh, definitely upload a different video for that because uh, there are a few drugs in this group or in this class you should know very well about that. So, before starting this, I would request you to subscribe to our channel and please tell your friends to subscribe. Okay, let me start with this. Um, Bisphosphonates are a class of drug that prevents the loss of bone mass used to treat osteoporosis and similar diseases. They are the most commonly prescribed drugs used to treat osteoporosis. This is one of the most commonly used in the treatment of osteoporosis. I uploaded a different video on osteoporosis. Just go and see that video. Um, I covered most of the important points. What you should know, okay, and the pathophysiology, everything. The bone undergoes constant turnover and is kept in a balance by osteoblasts creating bone and osteoclasts destroying bone. Uh, best phosphonates inhibit the digestion of bone by encouraging osteoclasts to undergo apoptosis or a cell death, thereby slowing the bone loss. The use of best phosphonates includes the prevention and the treatment of osteoporosis, osteoitis uh, deformance that is a Paget's disease of bone, bone metastasis with or without hypercalcemia. Uh, multiple myeloma, primary hyperparathyroidism, osteogenesis imperfecta and other medical conditions that feature bone fragility. Most physicians use bisphosphonates to treat uh, osteoporosis is a very common uh, commonly used in the treatment of osteoporosis. Uh, osteitis uh, deformance as I discussed bone metastasis, multiple myeloma and other conditions including fragile unbreakable bone as I said before. In osteoporosis and the Pegasus disease, the most popular first line bisphosphonate drugs are alendronate and racidonate. There are few points you should know about the alendronate, definitely I will upload a video on that. Uh, if these are ineffective or if the patient develops a digestive system problems, intravenous pamidronate may be used. Look, the one of the very bad side effect of these uh, drugs are esophagitis. That's why you should advise the patient to sit right, take the tablet and uh, drink good amount of water so that it should not get stick in the what you call the esophagus the selective is okay um, okay now this is not important okay let me move on to this uh, high potency intravenous bisphosphonates have been shown to modify the progression of the skeletal metastasis in a several forms of cancer especially the breast cancer in one randomized control trial women with a breast cancer who received zolendronic acid had a 36% reduction in the risk for a recurrence of a breast cancer in the same breast, a new cancer in other breast or a metastasis to the bone compared to the woman who did not receive the zolendronic acid. Um, other best phosphonates include um, medronate, as R N R two or oxydronate are mixed with the radioactive techni technetium uh, and injected as the way to image bone and detect bone diseases. Bisphosphonates have been used to reduce the fracture, uh, fracture rates in uh, uh, children with uh, the disease osteogenesis imperfecta to treat osteosclerosis and may crave the members on a long duration missions on the International Space Station to minimize the bone loss. Okay, these are the important uh, topic, important concept of uh, bisphosphonates. Regarding the alandronate, I will upload a different video on that. Just you can see the side effects, mechanism of action and other things uh, uses. Okay. Thank you so much for watching my video. Take care.